in North Wales in Llandidno. I spent the first 18 months there. My mother had, had a bad beginning. Um, my grandmother wasn't married to my grandfather. It was ridiculous really and wouldn't happen now, but the fact of her not being married sort of hung like a cloud over the place. I remember when um, I was 18 months old and we went from um, Wales to my grandmother's house. And uh, well, I had a governess at one point and I know we, pe we drew and painted wild flowers. I always was a bit feminist not knowing about it really because I asked my mother at a very early age, you know, if she thought men and women were equal. And she said, oh no, dear. So I said, well, what about you? And she said, oh, well, of course I am. And I said, well, what about me? Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> you choose the style in a way because that's the best way to express what you want to say. And I mean, I knew what I wanted to say and it could only be said in, 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 uh, with figures and, and real things. I think also that having painted um, these wildflowers with my governess uh, made me realize how different each thing was, even within the same plant. And in fact, every leaf is different. And I love that thought, that it's amazing and wonderful to think that all of us are quite different. And each one of us has their own particular thing which nobody else has. One thing that was quite different about Sylvia, when I uh, modeled for other artists, uh, very few ever talked to me at all. Um, and uh, Sylvia immediately engaged me in conversation, and we would just talk for five, six hours, you know, that I sat for her. And um, it was quite interesting. Uh, we got to know each other quite quickly, very well. Um, she later told me that um, she needed to talk to her models, and uh, it had a lot to do with uh, finding out who they were, so that she could paint them better. I have to say that it was primarily her influence, and certainly Alice Neal also, um, another painter, of a very different kind than uh, uh, Sylvia, that um, made me think more seriously about women artists, and in fact pushed me over the brink into a kind of pro-feminist stance. Invitation to a Voyage was painted on the, Hudson, on the Hudson River and I first saw Bannerman's Island Arsenal, which it looks like a castle um, in that wooded island, when I was going to Bennington in the train to Albany and um, I fell in love with it on the spot. One doesn't get much chance to paint a big, to decorate a room, in other words. It's very rare. And so I thought, nobody's ever going to ask me to do this, and I do want to do something really important and large. And so I'll do it myself. So I did, you see. It's nice to show that women can do it, you see, because nobody asks them, nobody knows, do they? I suppose I think of myself as a maverick, but I'm not quite sure what it means. <laughs> anyway, I mean that I sort of go against the tide, I suppose. And also, it's more fun. <laughs>